Francisco, thanks so much for that talk. It was really fascinating. Can you tell me what really uh, has made you so passionate about machine learning? I think that the, the, the big number of problems that can be solved uh, if machine learning was simple to use. Yes, yes, okay. And uh, your company, what basically, what service does it actually provide to um, ordinary people? So we, we allow uh, everyone without being a, even a, without being a PhD to build a, a predictive model in a, just with one click. In a very, very easy way, you can transfer your, your data into, into a, a structure that can help you, help you uh, make predictions for the future. It's fabulous, isn't it? It's really sort of like the whole, we're like shooting into the future with this sort of stuff and looking at those diagrams up on the wall was really fascinating. Thank you. And I, I think that, I think that we, we are building a, a small piece of what the future is going to be. Yeah, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. So um, I heard you, um, I'm very f um, focused on the venture capital community and mm -hmm. venture uh, capitalists, and I heard that you say that you did raise $2 million uh, for this particular business. That's right. Um, can, would you have any advice for entrepreneurs that might be wanting to raise venture at the moment? The tips that you've obviously, that was your second time around with your first company, you raised even more money. Is there any tips you would have for any entrepreneurs? I think that they just focus on your product, uh, develop a product that, that you really you really love and, and focus on making it better and better every single day, every single day, until it gets to a, to a stage where other people are going to be appreciating the, the product. I think that, 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 is the, that is the key. What do you think the VCs want from you? I mean, particularly in your area, which, which is all about data, um, what, what do you think that they really want to see in a business to be able to invest in you? I think that the, one of the key things is seeing traction, seeing that people are, are adopting uh, uh, your product. And, uh, and sometimes when you are uh, innovating, creating something that, that nobody thought before or that was uh, hard to believe that that was working, it's, it's, it's hard to see the traction at the beginning. Yes, And I yes. think that when they see the traction, they realize, well, I, 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 I wasn't seeing that uh, uh, two, two years ago, you know, I thought that the world was uh, going to be going in a different direction. And when, when they see that, that you were right, that you were moving in the direction that the world is moving, is where they, they appreciate more what you, you're building. So, so that capability of envisioning something and building uh, uh, against that vision, you know, without, without paying too much, too much attention to everything that is, is disturbing you from building that. So what I'm hearing is focus is really important on your passion and your vision and also trying to go for as long as possible to get that traction before you actually go to the VCs. Yes, uh, I think that, that's right. I think, okay. uh, I think uh, the, the more time you keep independent, the, mo the more control you're going to have of your company in the future. To make a really good company yeah. rather than have it um, dissected by, yes. by venture capitalists. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for your time no tonight thank and you. thanks thank for you. the talk. Thank you.